there, French horn players. It's Mrs. Tasha Morelli here to help you play pages four and five in your standard of excellence book. Let's review. Number one, you want to make sure that your mouthpiece is more on your top lip than your bottom. You want to have about two thirds of your uh, mouthpiece on your top lip and one third on the bottom lip. All right, we've learned a couple of notes. The first two notes that you've learned are F and C. As you can see by our red circle notes here, the F is higher than the C. The F is the high note that we've learned, and the C is the low note. For F, you push your first finger, that's your Point your finger. You're going to push your first finger for F, and we don't push any fingers for the low C. Let's try the F. Okay, I'll play the F, and then you play the F. Okay, it's your turn. See if you can put your finger down and match the sound of my F. One more time, F. Now we're going to play the low C. In order to get the lower note, remember you have to drop your jaw, like you're saying the word daw, daw, daw. You see if you can match the sound of the low C. One more time. All right, very good. As you can see behind me, we're going to learn some new notes today. We're going to learn how to read the C, the F. We're going to add two higher notes, G and A. We're on pages four and five of your Standard of Excellence book, but I want you to make sure that you are on the pages that say, for brass only. There are some other pages in there that say, for French horns only. Those are not the pages that we want to be on. We want to be on for brass only. All right. At the top of the page four and five, in the yellow, we're learning about some musical terms and symbols. The one I want to call your attention to right now is the whole note. The whole note looks like a donut. And the sentence right here says that a whole note gets four counts. Right next to it is a whole rest. This is when we're quiet for four counts, and it kind of looks like an upside down hat. On song number one, we're going to play the F. Now you'll notice that the F, when we want to play an F, the note is placed between these bottom two lines. This is what we call in the space. The F is in the first space. And what we have here is we have a song that goes F for four beats, rest for four beats, F for four beats, rest for four beats, F for four beats, rest for four beats, F for four beats, and rest for four beats until we get to the end. All right, we're going to play song number one on page four for brass only, and we're going to play F. Remember, you push your first finger for the F that is in the first space. Let's play a practice F to make sure that we've got the sound. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, ready, play. Rest, 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 rest. Rest, 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 rest. Rest, 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 rest. Rest, rest, rest. rest.
that's the end. Did you notice that I kept my finger pressed down the entire time? That's because I knew I wasn't going to play any other notes other than F. So you keep your finger down if you're going to keep playing the same finger. All right, let's move over to page five. And the first note on this page is C. And we're still talking about whole notes and whole rests, but now we've moved the whole note, okay? We're not doing the high C, we're doing the low C. And how do we know that it's low? Because it's under the staff. It's under those lines. And it doesn't touch any of these long lines. It's out there in outer space, and it's got a little mustache. I like to call him Captain Mustachio. And what we're going to do is we're going to have to ignore all of these high C's. That one, that one, and that one. We're just reading the low, 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 low. We're going straight across right down here. We're reading low C's. And we're going to play our note that we already know how to play, low C. Let's play a practice low C. Remember, daw. Okay, we're doing whole notes now, so four beats each, followed by four beats of rest. Keep your eyes on your music the whole time that you play. Here we go, one, two, ready, and. Rest, 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 rest. Rest, 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 rest. Rest, 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 rest. Rest, 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 the end. I hope that you matched my sound all the way across and that you're getting nice straight line C's. What I want you to do is to continue playing F's and C's as long tones, remembering to take a nice low breath and to use your sizzle muscle right here in the middle to push out all of the air you have. Let's go back to that page four and we're gonna learn our new notes. Okay, so our second note here on page four is called G. Now G is not in the first space like F. Notes that are in the first space are always called F. Here, we have the whole note put on the second line. We just put it right on there like it's a magnet. Right on that second line and the line is running right through its big fat head. That's what we call a line note. And it's on the second line up from the bottom. One, two. G is on the second line. And over here in the tan box, we'll see that you push no fingers in order to play G. You don't need to worry under about under here. You push no fingers to play G. And G is a higher note than F. You can see it right here. Here's the F space and the G line right above it. F, G is above it. F, G is above it. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to play the F first and then we're going to pick up our finger and let our note go one higher. So here's the F. Let's play F and then G. We'll do that together. Remember? F with your finger. G, let go and play one note higher. Try that again. Make sure that your note goes higher when you let go. You have to tighten up just a little tiny bit more in order to make your note go up. If your note goes down, 
start over and try again. Here we go, F and then G. Now we're going to play song number two, which is G all the way across. It's G whole notes, so you have to count to four with whole rests counting to four in between. Here we go. One, two, ready, and rest, 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 rest. Rest, 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 rest. Rest, 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 rest. Rest, rest, rest. The end. Let's go to song number three. It's called T for Two. Song number three is a little bit different. You'll see there's no tan box teaching us a new note here because we're going to use the notes that we have already learned. We're using F and G. Can you tell which one this is? That's right, it's the F because it's in the first space. And after our rest, we have a G because it's on the second line. Then we're going to go back to F, and then we go back to G before we end the song. This is an exercise in listening, in matching, in thinking what the notes are going to sound like, and moving your finger, all along with counting. All right, song three. Let's play a practice F to make sure that we know what it sounds like. And here's a practice G. Here we go. Song number three starts with F. Make sure that you think your letter names inside your head as you play the notes out loud. Here we go. One, two, ready, and. Pick your finger up, ready, and. Put it down, rest, rest, rest. Pick it up, rest, 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 the end. Very good. 